Must be my phone. Um, must be what do we phone. say? Let's chat. <laughs> I don't know. What, the, what is on Tucker's thing? Hi. We're going to be going live. Well, we're, we are live, but we'll be. Um, hey, Brie. We'll be. Um, words. Sorry. We're going to be starting soon. Just give us like a couple seconds. We're going to write a. Um, Pinned a little pinned comment right now to get this live going and then we'll go from there. So we hello, hello. Aw, thanks. You liked our video? Thanks. It was interesting to film. <laughs> we did that yesterday since it was the first day of voting. Um, yeah. And we heard, seriously, people were like on a Facebook group, like, oh my gosh, there is a Biden voter op rally whatever happening at a polling station so we dropped what we were doing we, we drove over there and um it was there two, were two people. people i was like this is wow. lame 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 so we ended up just asking pretty much biden supporters um what they kind of thought you can easily pick them out yeah. i kind of want to go to another polling station and sometime like the next couple of weeks and just put like a sign and be like you know how people put a sign and they say, let me guess your age? I want to guess their political affiliation just by looking at them. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure I can guess it. Like, you, really? can, you can pick people No, you out. can. That's true. Except every once in, a while, once in a while, you'll meet a blue-haired girl and a pink-haired guy that's actually Republican. Like, conservative. But they're not... You don't find them very often. You don't find them very often. All right, I'm going to go live on Facebook. Facebook. Let's get this going. Hi, Facebook. Are we live on Facebook? Are we live yet? on Facebook? Woo -woo. I think we are. There we go. Hi, okay. Facebook. Hey, Facebook. Hey, Instagram. Let's do some chatting. Yeah. What in the world is happening today? Dude. Like, is anybody watching? Let us know if you are watching what is happening. The news... My phone is blowing up with things that are happening in this country and nobody's talking about it and just specifically today based upon the the supreme court hearing that's been going on for a couple days now and Which, then can we just talk about amy is killing oh my it. gosh she's a freaking girl boss like that is a definition of a girl boss right there okay conservative form <laughs> the only true form so yeah that's happening what else is happening we have um dictionaries Okay, did you hear that the the definition of dictionary, the definition what? in the dictionary of the word preference was changed? Changed today. They literally changed it. So mm -hmm. yesterday, I don't have the original um, definition of it, but I have the new definition. Um, basically, okay, so in the Supreme Court hearings yesterday, the lady from Hawaii, whatever her name is. Oh, crap. I just had her name. Who's the senator of Hawaii? Her, she lost my name. Her, her name starts with an M. I can't think of it. Anyways, she came out and said that... Not important. Go she on. She came out and said that saying sexual preference was a discriminatory thing towards LGBTQ community and all that. She when she, talking about... Because of what happened today during the hearing is yesterday. that... Oh, was, was it yesterday? Yesterday. Okay. Yesterday. Yesterday during the hearing, Amy, Judge Amy, had mentioned sexual preference twice in responding mm -hmm. to somebody... And then now today it's like a whole big deal or whatever of being like, you can't say sexual preference because you're not choosing it. It chose you and you have no choice. But then you have all these recordings of Biden and like these pro. Even the same Hawaii senator used had the word. used sexual preference. And who else did? Justice RBG, Ruth Bader Ginsburg also used sexual preference. So yesterday the diction is okay. And also I'm pretty sure it's a. The Hawaii senator, she became on the board of Webster Dictionary, or she, she's high up in there, and, like, however she got that status, I don't really know, but she's on the board, and, like, she makes decisions for the company, okay? So, this is very, this is why I'm bringing this up for Webster Dictionary. So, yesterday, this did not, was not underneath the de definition of the word. So, just say the new, just, just say the new definition. So, one of the, the added definitions says, offensive. Using the word preference in regards to sexual or preference is now considered offensive. Yeah. So it's on, Google it. It's the, it's the last point. If you use point the word, four. according to Webster Dictionary, if you use the term sexual preference, you are now using an offensive term. Discriminatory. And, and discriminatory. And you, should, name you it. should not be doing that because that's... It's, Isn't that crazy? Yeah. 
It's literally crazy. And it came after the senator. What is her name? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know. She, uh, I don't know. Hawaii. She's Asian. So, but she has like an, a, a, a white name. Doesn't she? Yep. What's her name? Oh my gosh. You can be talking. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what her name is. Anyway, have, did y'all watch Tucker tonight? Maisie Hirono. Maisie? Maisie Hirono. Maisie okay. Hirono. Indian giver is what she is. It's ridiculous. Okay, and then we have this whole thing with, and I don't want to say the names. So we're going to say Joe Biden's offspring. And we all should know who we're talking about. Now, yeah. if you don't know what we're talking about, I... I don't really know what to say because I don't want to get... I, we're just not going to use certain terms right now because there's some crazy sense something something ring that's <laughs> happening right now, okay? So... Major. So that's why we're not saying the whole... The words because we're nervous about that. Oh, people were commenting? Oh! Wow, my phone was paused. I didn't even see all your comments. Oh, wow. That's you guys awkward. are opening up. You guys... I thought nobody was commenting. I was like, this is so weird. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I was like, Corona, what are thank you guys. Tonight? Thank Wait, you. can we also just say something? Since we apparently are just having a, a girl blonde moment, I'm going to call it. <laughs> I was like, nobody's calling I'm just saying today, I, I looked at myself for the first time. Yeah, I know. I think I look like Napoleon Dynamite today. Don't know who that is. And she doesn't know who that is. Y'all y'all know who that is? I really hope you do. Okay. So, a anyways. Back were, to... Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go okay, for it. so basically the whole thing that's happening, I'm going to do a quick like 30,000 foot view just so you get a good idea. We'll probably do a video more in depth as more information comes out. We don't want to jump the gun too much. Um, but yeah, so. So this whole thing, give them a download of what happened. Okay. Go. So in 20, there is a little MacBook store shop that fixes computers in Delaware. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now somebody came in, mm -hmm. dropped off their computer to get fixed. Mm -hmm. Never came back. Never came back. So after a year, store policy says, "Hey, it's our it's our property. It's ours." Okay. Mm -hmm. So a year passed. Somebody left their laptop. The store owner was like, "I'm gonna look at it. You know, it's mine now. I'm gonna be nosy, I guess." Well, he went through the mail inbox of this random person's laptop. Had ten thousand emails and come mm -hmm. to find out that oh. laptop. Belong to, to the offspring of Joe, Joe Biden. Biden. Y'all know who that is. Starts with an H, the first name of this guy. Well, guys, this dude decided to turn this crazy information, all the 10,000 emails, to the FBI. Yep. He sent out, he gave them the laptop and said, this is what I found. Basically, do what you do. Expecting the FBI to do what they're supposed to do. But we know that. to the public but and we know, handle it properly. Right. right. Well, we know the FBI is totally corrupt, and during when he, I don't know what year that's exactly the timeline of it happening, mm -hmm. but we know it's, it's completely corrupt and distorted and, and all that is happening. So, after that happened, when he gave them the laptop, he was a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. man. Brilliant. And, um, he As Trump would say, fantastic. fantastic. He kept a copy of all 10,000 emails on his private hard drive. Yeah, so he, he had a, had a copy. USB, uh, input thingy whatever it's called i'm not tech not my thing so <laughs> basically the guy was like here's fbi here's all the information but little do you know i actually have it all on my personal hard drive so he waited a year and nothing came out he started reaching out to different republican senators and just democrats like everybody reaching out to them nobody was responding to them so okay. so what the he guy's did, like I, I, is he is this, is this guy a conservative? He, has to, he said he's a true patriot. We think he's a true patriot. So for the hypothetically, we're just gonna say as a true conservative would do. And I believe it was the Holy Spirit that gave him the the wisdom to keep a copy of it for himself. Exactly. So as a true conservative patriot, Holy Spirit filled, Holy Ghost filled guy. That's okay? speculation. We're just guessing. Just, that part. This, is, this is just hypothetical. He actually went to. Rudy Giuliani's, Giuliani's, as he should, and said, Dude, office, and you've got to look at this. Gave him the information. Yeah. He then gave and leaked, gave the information to the New York Post, and this is where we're at today. It leaked today. The New York Post has been locked out of their Twitter account. Yeah. Supposedly. The New, the New York Post, of all people. It's not even like it's Fox News. I know. It's not One American News. No. It's not, it's not PragerU. Okay. No. It's the New York Times. Locked out. New York Post. New, thank you. New York Post. Locked out. 
And supposedly Kaylee McEnany, which if y'all don't know what's happening with her, I don't know if it's a joke. I don't know either. And her tweets. But there the is some major information going on and like code that's happening with her tweets recently. Y'all need to go check it out. I think, did we post something about it? I didn't know. Okay, we'll, we'll post something after. It will blow your mind. But. On the stories we post it. Yes. So that's what's happening. If you go and try to share the link on Twitter. You, you will be locked out of no, your account. No, you're not being locked out, but you can't, re- you can't share the tweet. Oh, then really? Do you not share? It? Yeah, you can't even share it. You can't even post the link. So, this so that's is what's what happening. Sure. Oh, y'all know what I found out today about Twitter? Hear this. I had no idea. Apparently, I don't, I don't know exactly what position this person has, but it's some hierarchy of the Twitter company. Is the, what is it, press secretary? No. Is the secretary oh, for... Was the press secretary, was, or was worked for Joe Biden when he was VP? No, worked for Kamala Harris. Oh, and somebody else worked for Joe Biden, who's he's in a hierarchy of Twitter. Twitter. Now, if you never thought since... Blank, 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 earthship was a thing. Now you probably will believe us because I'm telling you, it's insane who's part of the hierarchy of big tech companies in America. And it's disgusting. It's disgusting. All right, we have some questions. No, this is very random, hence the random setup and not appearance happening right now. Not so okay. Um, all right. What bear? Okay, I love these people. Okay, are you going to? Oh, I'm going to my first Trump rally Friday. I'm so excited. Yes. Okay, so Trump, he would come to Florida all the, the time. time. And so yeah. we went to probably eight or nine rallies in 2016 between Trump and Pence. And every single time we barely got in, had to get there like six hours ahead of time. It's crazy. So you're gonna enjoy it so much. Make sure you tag us in your your posts because we want to see. Yeah. I want to live vicariously through because you. We're not going to. Sad. That's okay. All right. Is it true? Oh, it didn't flip. Is it true that Trump is putting Mexican children in cages? N O no. no. And in Spanish, no. <laughs> so basically, what's happening? There's probably seen it. There's been a couple of viral photos circulating the internet of some kids and inside cages. Um, that was. Back in 2014, when the Obama administration started doing that, built the cages, put the kids in it. In 2018, Trump stopped it, banned it, and it no longer happens. So what? The, even if, even though what was happening was horrible, what what um, what Obama was doing, they did that because there was such an influx of illegal immigrants and just people trying to migrate legally mm-hmm. coming through. They have to detain them somehow. And that's what he chose to do. I don't agree with doing that. And first of all, when I first heard that, I thought they literally meant like dog cages. First like of all, like crates, you mean? Yeah, like dog crates. It's not that, by the way. It's though not, I don't think, okay, but it's not that. And first of all, that was Obama, not Trump. Trump actually, when he came into office, he, he stopped that in 2018. 18. I believe it was 2018. Yep. So that's yeah. our president. Um. Okay, Biden was in Iowa doing a rally inside without a mask, and I couldn't see that anyone else wore a mask for, for the with video. You know, that's speaking of, of the Biden Harris ticket not wanting to wear a mask and Trump not wanting to wear one back in the you know the, when we were having debates and whatnot, and people hating Trump for it. Can we just talk about the fact since no media not, like major news? Outlet is going to talk about this. We're going to talk about it. So for the VP presidential debates last week, both yes. parties, so Republican and Democrat parties, agreed agreed to not wear a mask. Yet the same Democrat party who was like, hey, we're not going to wear a mask, is hugely pro-mask, is hugely for mandating masks, okay? And if you don't wear a mask in certain states, you will be detained. That is a legitimate thing, okay? Even when you're outside, there's a huge viral video of people, I believe in Idaho, worshiping, okay? You got Christians out there worshiping outside of a building, and there are about five or so people that were detained and arrested by the police. And yet that same party was like, no, we don't have to wear masks. If you ask me, I think it's quite hypocritical. I think that's a common theme we're seeing. Yeah. Hey, Christina. 
All right, your Trump flag is coming in tomorrow. Yes. yes. I'm just texting some people because the since the debate is canceled tomorrow, apparently there's a town hall happening. Yep. So I'm trying to text our so people. So the debate, <laughs> technically we would have had a debate, um, presidential debate tomorrow night, but they canceled it, which is fine. I don't, I mean, it's not fine, but whatever. That's a whole other topic. But what they're going to do instead is that Biden will be at lo- one location. Trump will be at a separate location and each will have their own separate town hall meetings, different group of people they'll be talking to and whatnot. So that should be very interesting because we haven't had that recently. So I, know. I love town hall. They're, they're interesting. What do you guys think about that? Do you like watching town hall meetings? Because I think they're, I would love to be in the audience of one. Oh. Can I just say that? Yeah, I would rather be in a town hall meeting rather than a debate because I could not keep myself quiet in a debate. <laughs> I don't no. think I'd have any self-control. I know. How's our day going? Busy. Sucky. Well, being honest. My mine's hard good. drive, my <laughs> external hard drive, opened it up. I have all my folders, but nothing's in the folders. Josh just said Trump is 20 minutes away from my house right now, and you're not there? at the rally? I heard that this rally is going to be the most epic rally ever, and you're not there. I well, know. I mean, granted, we're not there either, <laughs> but wow, that's so crazy. You're so close. All right. We got a lot of questions. Let's go through this. Okay. So this isn't a question, but Trump 2020. Woo. Trump 2020. I want to know what are your honest like thoughts of how is how is November going to happen? Because personally, and I'll speak on behalf of both of us, I know that he was predestined to win two terms, and I truly believe that because just because there's been so many prophetic words and Mm -hmm. so many things, and I feel that in my spirit. But at the same time, we have to, it's a spiritual battle. And so we, if the church doesn't coincide and co- co-labor with what's happening here on earth, meaning getting out and voting, then, then nothing's going to yeah. happen. We can't expect God to just lay in our lap because we're called to co-labor. And co-laboring in an election means getting out and voting. What we, so do, we have to do on that. earth is a, is a reflection of what's happening in the spiritual atmosphere, the spiritual realm for all of those who are faith based people um you probably know what i'm talking about so that's why especially christians that's why you have to vote like what i heard can i go on a little tangent yeah i'm gonna go on a tangent we talk about this as a family all the time can i go on a tangent and we try not to talk all like spiritual and jesus all the time because we know there's a wide verse but this is who we are so here we go okay so what i'm not understanding with the american church right now is why they're saying hey hands off i'm not gonna vote 2020 because this is a crazy year things are hard yes it's true crazy year yes things are hard i can't choose between a candidate not my place oh so hard i'm just gonna have it's gonna just get a little more worse and jesus will come back and sweep us all up and go to heaven and be fantastic no if you think that's gonna happen anytime soon Just as a personal opinion, you're probably wrong because if you look at, for example, the Middle East church, if you look at the church in China, for years they have been persecuted, okay? The church in Africa, years persecuted. I don't know if you guys are well, I mean, there's not a lot of articles about this, so I wouldn't expect anybody to be. But for example, what's happening in Ethiopia is because Ethiopia used to be a dominant Muslim country. Thank God now it's more of a Christian country. In Mozambique. In Mozambique. There's Ethiopia. I meant Mozambique. My bad. Yeah, Yeah, that's what I meant. What they're happening and what's still happening is that there are terrorist organizations rampant. Yes, Middle East, China, and Africa. I'm my noon shirt. No, you're not. That are literally, what they'll do, they'll come into a village, they'll round up all the Christians, okay? And what they'll do is they'll kill the kids first, execution style. Then they'll, it's awful. Am I going to get censored? I don't want you to say it because it's... R-A-P-E-E, the woman in front of the husbands, and then they'll kill the, kill the wives and then kill the husbands. That's called persecution. What's happening... He- Paris, stop. <laughs> What's happening here in the American church is not persecution. Is it a step closer to craziness yes i'm not downgrading what's happening here do we need to rise up heck yes we need to rise up before it becomes that preserve what we have today or else we'll have nothing to preserve tomorrow is what i always say but from christians to say i'm not gonna vote because you know jesus is just gonna come back tomorrow or by the end of this week if that was the case i'm pretty sure he would have came back for those that are in china having to hide or the jews 
first Holocaust, Holocaust round in Spain, or the second one in Nazi Germany. Like, I'm it's pretty sure Jesus would have came back, okay? So, Christians, vote. Vote so you can protect what you have today, so you don't have to crazily fight for it tomorrow. And here's another thing. So Okay, I'm, I'm off my soapbox. <laughs> okay, I'll get on mine. You probably want to open the door for her. Um, so that's another thing. We live in such a bubble as a culture, an American culture, taking, taking Christianity and religion out of it. We live such in a bubble of utopia. Yeah. Like, you don't, I don't think people realize that. We lived in a third world country and it still wasn't even the worst part of it. It was a nicer area. America is a utopia. And that period. This, this is, where you don't know what it's like to live in a hard life. America is not racist. We're not, we're not Thank all these God. things as a whole. Thank yes, God. that exists. Yes, but we're not at that as a whole. So we don't know when the little things go wrong, we kind of start freaking out, running around like chickens with our head cut off yeah. um, because of all of that. Um, so that's what I'm saying. So I've heard it, and I'll do this and then we can go on to the next question, but I've heard so many people come out and say who are Christians because we've been talking and trying to just get a, an idea. I mean, look at my shirt. I'm just saying. Is it backwards? It says, Elohim is the Almighty. Okay, I just yeah. want to say that. Okay, okay. go on. Sorry. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, people are like, I can't vote for either candidate because they're, they're not... Um, they're not perfect. They're not representing who Jesus is. I'm okay. sorry. Are you perfect? But no, I'm, you're, you're jumping on my high horse. Can, I jump, can we jump no. together? No, I'm Let's jumping. Let's jump together. I'm driving. You're the back. I'll in the back. Okay, go. Um, we can't... As long... First of all, out of the two candidates, Donald Trump is the most... Is, is he... Nobody's Jesus. Okay, nobody's going to equal Jesus. So the moment we start trying and trying to have a candidate that's going to equal Jesus, we're going to fail every single time because nobody's going, nobody's going to be like Jesus. One so that's word. the first problem. You can't hold someone to the standard of Jesus if you're not there either. And newsflash, none of us will ever be there, and that is be, okay. There will never that's be a fine. political party. There will never be a candidate that's going to represent Christ in the perfect way. That doesn't happen on earth. Sorry to burst, burst your bubble, but, but pop, we're bursting it because that's actually not reality. But if you look at the two candidates, for anybody who may be on the edge, because people is are most pro Bible, go with that, Christians. Who, who is it? And it's literally written out in front of you. I'll tell you who it's not. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, why why are they not pro-Bible? You know Kamala Harris proposed and she was for the bill that allows you to kill your child mm -hmm. up to birth? Yeah. So literally 11 minutes before birth, you, you could can kill, kill your kid. kid. You could have an abortion. Yeah. I'm so sorry, but that does not go, coincide with the Bible verse that says he knew you before you were even in your mother's womb. That doesn't okay, equal sure. Jesus yeah. at all. And we can go on. Not we just that. Going, I'm going to say one more thing. Okay. Kamala Harris, since we're talking about her and how she's so in love with abortion and Planned Parenthood. Okay. So there were, uh, I'll call them whistleblowers for the Planned Parenthood, you know, yeah, they organization. Did the videos. It did secret videos, exposed what happens and what happens to the, uh, the body parts of the aborted kids there. And there was a prosecutor who prosecuted them and, and like shut it all down. Do you know who that prosecutor was? Yeah, come on, not Harris. Only, not only did she shut it down and d d didn't prosecute Planned Parenthood, but she prosecuted the reporters. Mm -hmm. That's who she prosecuted. Kamala Harris is not pro life. Why? Why are we even? Why is there even a conversation about pro life versus pro choice? Anybody with a brain, even the size of a peanut, would know. Hey, pro life, life, life is good. I have life. You have life. We're all I, I think the liberals why would be like, why oh, over that. I think that I, thought, exactly. I would think they'd be like, oh yes, pro life, because like they embody that, but in reality, they're not. Why are we that conversing is, about that? And then, okay, yeah, so somebody head. saying Trump is Jesus in today's world, and no, I've heard people say that he's the same, I, all a bunch of things, which is completely false, but Jesus can use those, Jesus doesn't need people to be perfect, mm -hmm. or, what is the thing? Jesus is, God is not, um, what is the word, wow, <laughs> My mind. People, Jesus doesn't need you to be perfect. He needs you to be oh, willing. Oh, I got it. Yes. And God is not hindered by man's shortcomings. I mean, you look at King David. We use this example a lot. He was an amazing man of God. He was a man after God's own heart. But he also did some pretty sketchy things. Mm -hmm. Just saying. If you don't know, which is fine, King David, okay, when he was the king, so that's like the president these days, his army went off to war. And obviously the wives are home. The men went off. 
he slept with one of the wives of one his of commanders his, his commander's or wife or whatever. Got her pregnant, I think, right? Mm-hmm. And then kill had 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 people go kill. Well, the, he put the his the the husband in front of the battle well, to be killed, basically. And that's so, not a place on for purpose. To be. On purpose, and then yeah, so he wouldn't right. be caught. Let's do questions anyway. Okay, if okay. where the question go? Can you find it? No, I got it. I got it. No. Okay, if all lives matter, how can you how come you guys aren't mad about B, 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 BLM? If ALM, how come you guys aren't mad about black lives? And, and when, when people ask you guys if y'all worried about Mexican lives at the border, you guys are, and then your Maddie, your question got cut off. Um, I don't really know where you're necessarily going with this, so I won't. The what BLM has done, it has um, uh, idolized a certain race. In, in, in it makes it they make it makes it ugh. creates a victim mentality yeah. that doesn't need to, that doesn't exist it's an elitist and victim mentality coming together I don't know how it comes together or how it's possible but they do it really well okay by making this a soul one race over the other and only putting a spotlight on one versus the other when all are created equal all have value in life evenly across the board period done statement end of sentence goodbye go home Okay. Plus, at the same time, they're saying you're a victim, you have issues in life, and because of systemic racism exists, which does not exist, and then they go and, and tell people to share that. Like it's the gospel or something. And that's where we have an issue. And if you saw our most recent video we just posted of interviewing some Biden supporters, um, one of the ladies there wanted us to say it, and I won't say it. I'm not going to say and that. It's also, like a cult. I'm not going to say it. And there's also something... Here's the difference. People call us all the time that we're part of a cult for being Christians. Here's the difference. We don't force you to say something. It's true. I don't force you to say Jesus is, is alive and, and king of kings or whatever. That's your decision. I'm not going to force that upon That's you. That's why you have free will. The difference, you don't know what the cult is, BLM is, because they're forcing you to say something, and if you don't say it, you're going to be annexed and shamed. They're forced to say the the people's late, or people's names who have passed away. And plus, the whole BLM and the founders of it all, there was so much corruption of who they are, and if you're not a Christian, you won't probably care about this, of how they are um, satanic, self-proclaimed witches, and all this crazy stuff, and there's a reason why they say certain things. That we're gonna go more in depth to eventually, um, but not at but not right now. Moment. Okay. All right. All right. Where did we learn the information about Christopher Columbus that we yeah. shared the other day? So, long story. We're talking about Jesus a lot in this video, Why which not? is great. Why okay, not? Uh, but so, long story made super super duper short. My mom um, was woken up in the middle of the night, and she felt like she, oh no, she was reading her Bible. She was just reading her she Bible. She woke up because she, in the just, middle of the night, she always wakes up at random Opened times. up her Bible, whatever. She was reading it. And read a passage. Read a passage. And she felt like God said and heard him say, um, or th- where she read a passage and she, and she thought, is that talking about America? Is that, because it was talking about Israel, but she thought, is that talking about America? She and goes, she was I like, don't know. I don't know. And, and then, then she had the thought of, hey, was, why did, why did Christopher Columbus come to America? What was his reasoning? And she replied by saying, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Per- persecution. Spices, you know, jewels, new land, land, whatever. The basic stuff. And then she had the thought of... And when we say had the thought, Jesus can talk to you, Holy Spirit. So that's what we're referring to. And so she had the thought of, hey, is um, Christopher Columbus a Jew or a Christian? She thought, oh, Christian. And then she pro- felt prompted to look it up. So she did. And then that's how all of this happened, and basically, Christopher Columbus was indeed a Jew. She just Google Christopher Columbus, Jewish heritage. And a bunch of stuff came up. You can even keep it CNN. Saying. Even CNN in 2012 was talking about it. Christopher Columbus is a Jew, and like all these stuff. So, yeah, I mean, the stuff's there. Just, just Google it, honestly. It's all there. All right. Yes, yeah, somebody asked what we say about this video. We will try to save it. Yes. You like it? Thank you. It's actually not orange. It's actually red, but we have a filter on right now. Oops. Don't tell anybody. Okay. You also asked, who do you think is the worst person? Joe or Kamala Harris? Kamala. 
Kamala because, because Joe's Kamala. not gonna enact it. It's Kamala. No, because because Kamala is cognitively here. Joe's in Lala Land. Joe's in Candy Land. <laughs> All right. Okay. Why should team support Trump? LOL. Lots of people say that there is no reason to, to care, so please explain. Well, this is the most important election ever. And that would change the course of history forever. Here's why you said that a lot of people say there's no reason to care. Here's why you should care. If you're an American, whether you agree with the president or not, you should care because it's the same way as though you were on a ship in the middle of the ocean. You might not like your captain, but he's your captain. And so you want him to succeed because if he fails, he's going to sink that ship and, and, you're, that, going with and you're going with him. So you should, you should care. You should wholeheartedly care. And if you can vote, you should really care. Right. Uh, and it's the same when we were, um, and when Obama was president and we weren't old enough to vote back then. And this, since this is the first time we're voting this year, um, we, I remember as a family, we would pray for Obama. We despise the man as a family. And his, and his, first of all, he's very like charismatic. He's a very he's a great speaker. speaker. Great speaker. I'll and give him that. Very, you know, plays the camera well. Props to him. But for policies and politically, did not like the man at all. Mm -hmm. um, but we prayed for him because we knew if he was taken out or he was doing something wrong, it would it would affect us. So we yeah. prayed for him as a family. So. Alright. How do we deal with the hate? Ooh. Good <laughs> question. We actually did a video about this a couple months ago about how to handle liberal haters. Maybe we'll reshare it. Maybe we should. Yeah, we'll reshare that. Um, maybe we should do a refreshed version. Maybe we should. I don't know. Actually, maybe after post election. Basically, there's a couple ways we go about it. Honestly, most of the time we ignore them. Usually, someone else is already handling it. So you guys, thank God. If it's in the comment section, I will sometimes respond. But honestly, you guys jump on it so quickly. And I love that. And so I try not to jump in. Sometimes I'm like, so it's, I like to. <laughs> or we like to. Um, now, if it's like on your personal or something. Or a DM. You can ignore it. I ignore it. Leave them on red. That will drive them crazy. Sometimes I'll open it up and then not re ever respond. Just to drive them crazy a little bit. Um, or I just delete it. Just don't read it. Some people are super, super hateful. Um, and if we're getting a lot of hate at one time, we'll give our device and our parents and our family and our team, aka family, has our login information. Um, and so they'll go through and just delete the hate ones if we're getting an influx of them. But don't read it. Do not read it. All right. Someone said, my lawn sign that says, make America godly again, comes in on Friday. By the way, it doesn't specify any God for people that have different religion. That's pretty exciting that you have a new sign coming in. That's always fun when you buy new merch and you have it coming in. in. Oh my gosh, we're supposed to have our merch, our final uh, sample of our, one of our merch is coming in. Ooh, yeah, if you guys don't know, we have merch. Totally should like uh, We had a hater. We had our first hater at our rally or her flag drop we did last night. Yes, we did. A lady, her shirt said uh, Republicans for Biden. Doesn't even make sense. You can just jump over. You don't have to be Republican anymore. Like, we will let you go. Yeah. Anyways. No problem. But she had a sign that said, make America kind again. But it was like, look like a Trump sign, like everything. Like a magazine. And then sign. she had put a um, Biden, Biden sticker, sticker on it. And she was like, hey, come in our faces last night and everything, but yeah. with her mask, of course, can't forget that diaper on your face. And I like to call it. Okay. Let's see. I hate that people don't want to vote Trump. So they vote for the next option, even though they don't know what Joe assumingly you say stands for. Um, yeah, it is annoying. And in fact, if you watch our video, it will probably make you more annoyed. So go watch it. So, because we interviewed someone, and I won't give it fully away, but basically this person, highlight version, was voted for Biden and didn't really agree with anything he said. And she goes into deep to about, detail about it, and I call her out on it, which is kind of funny, but y'all need to go watch it. When we, when we go out and about and we, what we call the We the People uh, videos, we're getting We the People Americans' opinions on things. Um, we're trying to be more, not, not agitators, just, that's not, we don't debate, we don't do that on this account, but just, but hold, but ask some questions, like, you want XYZ, but the candidate you're supporting is actually totally against that, like, mm -hmm. 
what, why are you supporting them? What makes you support them? So, yeah. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna wrap it up. All right, let's wrap it up and see any other questions. Um, do we think that the Greeks and Americans are similar? Or America? I, don't, I have no idea. I don't know. I don't have an opinion on that. What's your opinion on being anti-vax? I'm anti-vax. <laughs> I mean, if you want to do it, you do you, boo. But, like, don't force me to do anything. As I'm not going to force you to do anything. So, there you go. There you go. All right, this is so impromptu. We're we'll probably go live tomorrow. Um, so submit questions ahead of time. That really helps um, just so we can do yours first um, and make sure they get answered. Yeah. All right, we kind of went a little soapbox today. I hope y'all are cool with that. A little rant, a little extra. Listen, I have, I'm pretty fed up with, with people these days. Love them, but you can love someone and not compromise on your values. You guys know that, right? I hope you guys do know that because... You should never, like, for example, when it comes to LGBT, if you're not a huge advocate on that, love the person. Don't compromise your values because you love them. That's some of the, one of the things that a liberal will use type of rhetoric. They'll use to try to twist you into saying that you agree with them on something that you genuinely don't agree with. So make sure you don't fall for that because we're very easy at manipulating people. I'm just saying. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Okay, thank y'all so much. If you missed it, we launched. You were asking for it for a month or two. We did it. We created and designed some merchandise. Mm -hmm. And with that, it, we're not trying to like make a bunch of money. Our heart behind that is so we can fund a podcast that so many of y'all have asked. And just so we can be a little bit more free with our verbiage and not feel like we're yeah. being hindered on social media platforms. Um, so anything that you do to that, we'll go support that as well as 10% um, of everything we will donate to um, a nonprofit. Yes. And all the information is on our website. At yeah, thepatriotsisters.org. And then do slash um, shop. Shop. I got, got you tonight. tonight. You got that? I got you tonight. Boom. All right. And they're really cute. Just saying. We were, we're oh, not even just that, but they're actually like good quality. Yeah. I like not very many, but and this is really bad. I have a polo pet. <laughs> Okay, anyway. So, yeah, there you go. Okay, they just want us to pray. You want to go for it? Yeah. Pray can be better. All right, God, thank you so much for this time to be together with patriots, like minded people. Lord, I ask that you would protect our country, you would bless our president, and you would bless our vice president, Lord, and that there would be, although there's already confusion in the enemy's camp, Father, I ask that you would just multiply, multiply it. it by sevenfold, Lord, for every time. Your people have been cheated out this past year, Lord. God, um, bless this country. Bless our presidents. Bless these people watching us and give them highly, high favored in your Lord's name. Um, in your Lord's name. And the Lord's name. Okay, get that right. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. Woo! <laughs> wow, guys, that just means I'm tired. It's been a long time. Really tired. If you don't watch Tucker... Oh, we don't really watch Fox He's News a whole lot, but tonight. we don't really watch the news a lot. Um, we just get a lot of information. <laughs> but we do make sure to watch Tucker Carlson's opening mo intro thing, whatever you want to call it. Opening monologue. monologue. I got the word. He's literally on fire. Fire. Tonight. It's over now. But look for a rerun. I'm sure he'll post it on his Facebook or something. Yeah. He, he lays it out. Oh, he like. You're gonna watch oh news. Gosh. Literally just watch, watch Tucker. Tucker. And if you miss Tucker, watch, watch Hannity. Mm -hmm. And then catch and Laura then Ingram yeah. early in the day yeah. if you need to. Yeah, that's who you need. They're amazing guys. Well, I think we'll. We should go live for another more times. I know. What do you think? We should just go like in the middle of the day. Middle of the day. How's lunch sound? Lunch date, anybody? <laughs> anyway, so go to the website, patriotsisters.org. Check us Slash out. Click the shop. shop button and let us know what you think we had a flag drop okay if you didn't see real fast and then we had a flag drop last night again so many people showed up it was unreal unreal if you were there or knew someone there say something i know facebook a lot of you guys were there um it was so fantastic i mean we just we went probably from like five we started at 5 p.m and went to about 7 30 a little past 7 30 so 
I mean, they stayed there for so long. I was like, y'all are freaking amazing. I know. So every week it just keeps getting better and better. We had a fun random guest. Well, not guest, but whatever. Person stopped by. Mm-hmm. If you don't know who he is, check him out. Lance Wong out. We amazing. We posted him on our Facebook, um, I think. Facebook page. Shared what we did together. So, yeah. Pretty cool. All right. Anything else? Nope. I'm tired. I got to figure out how to fix my hard drive. Y'all know how to fix a hard drive. My folders are on there, but no files in their folders. That low sucks key, for you. Low-key freaking out. So if y'all <laughs> smart in that, let me know. Yeah, I'm not that person. All right. I'm going to go to bed. Good night, y'all. Bye.